Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Table Cookery by Edicraft in 1938, we're going to be making the savory sandwich. My understanding is that Edicraft was an appliance manufacturer, and appliance manufacturers used to put out cookbooks all the time. Um, and this is one of them. It's more like a pamphlet than a cookbook, but still, let's give it a go. To cream butter, we're supposed to add chopped parsley, chopped capers, and it says to add mustard pickle. I'm going to use pickle lily because that's pretty much mustard and pickle. Plus, I couldn't find mustard pickles. But it's pretty much mustard and pickle. Then a few drops of onion juice. Yep, I'm using bottled onion juice, but you can also uh, grate an onion and just squeeze it through cheesecloth. Then it says put that on rye bread. So I got some artisanal rye here. Okay, let's give this savory sandwich a go. There's mustard pickle, capers, onion juice, but it's good because the rye bread is not only dense, it's bringing a lot of flavor to the party too. This is a nice little snack. I'm going to try and plus it up just a little bit though. I'm going to add some hard boiled egg, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, let's give this plussed up savory sandwich a go. Mmm. Mmm. So the egg is bringing a nice flavor to the party with a little salt and pepper. All that works really well with the onion juice, the capers, the mustard pickle, and the rye bread. That is tasty. And you could argue I changed the nature of the sandwich by adding something like eggs but it's called a savory sandwich. It's still savory. Okay, so the original savory sandwich, I think it's more of like a snack or a tea sandwich. It's not meant as a sandwich sandwich, but I would give it a seven in that category. It's tasty, it's flavorful, um, it's interesting. With the hard-boiled eggs, the salt, and the pepper, I would probably bump that up to about eight and a half. It plays really well together. All the parts come together with the egg and the salt and the pepper, and I am definitely gonna finish that. All right, see you tomorrow.